Hampton mold. Hampton junk. I just need to get this plugged in here and then we can test it. I guess the flurry is kind of a moot point at this rate. You're not going to connect the ground? Look at the ground fault. You don't want to... Oh, it's on the ground? <laughs> garbage. I'm not going to use the plug because it's full of um, well that and corrosion. <laughs> that should be fine. The motor sounds awful. I think it's riveted shut. That, that ought to be lots of fun to try to take apart. So well, we're not going to be able to read the meter too easily but that's fine. The last time this was used, it worked, but the motor, the bearings were just abysmal. Well, why do you think I'm wearing a mask? <laughs> You know, it does just start moving a decent amount of air. Is that on high or is that on low? That on low. Is it really? That's respectable. It's given not how what it should be, but it looking yeah. at, you know, for, for what the coil looks like. Probably half of what it would normally be. Not much difference. Well, the bearings are probably all screwed up. Probably all screwed up? I think certainly. You hear that nice uh, Sanyo? That is unbelievably quiet. And it's still got the gas, too. Something about the Japanese and Korean compressors, they were the best. What brand sorry, is this compressor? Sorry, sorry. Then for rotaries, okay? I know people are going to get upset because I'm not talking about recips. This is a Sanyo. Previously, I had said Toshiba, but. Um, Eric Freeze had corrected me. I hear it coming under load. Yep. Oh, I'm going to start taking the screws out. That's 4.7 amps at the moment. Well, it has only been on a few minutes. Fair enough. As you told me, you gotta wait. Sorry? As you told me, you gotta wait. Patience. This hasn't been run in probably two years. I think we ran it a year ago. We did? It was working fine then. Do you have like a takeout container or something I can put these in? Yeah, I'll go get a box. Box.
going now is fine. I probably just got the Yeah, I see. I feel the temperature. Yeah, now yeah, I, I hear the gas. gas. See, sometimes you just gotta wait a little while. It's climbing quick now. I it's gotta be the, the oil gets in there and then like something. closes the gap around the lobe as it spins. We need um, David Allen. Dave, yeah, I was gonna say why David it takes would so know. Long. Yeah. But that, that's my theory is that the oil has to circulate into the lobe area and then it starts to make a better seal. Yeah, I think the oil is what's used to seal it. Because I know that that's how um, like power steering pumps work. Yeah. Now it's cold. Oh yeah, it's not back here now. What little air? Yeah, now it's coming off, but what's there? Here, should I, uh... Sure! That'll make for a funny video. <laughs> it's only 7 a.m., so that's not bad for a 12 guy. It's still climbing. Yeah, but it's going to climb fast considering the uh, coil surface. Is it okay if I take the grill off? Yeah. Okay. Do you want to look at it without the ground attached? That's a deal. I don't care. I think this was in the smoker's house. It was. As if it wasn't disgusting enough. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's getting respectably cold now. Bearing in mind that it has zero condensing surface. Oh man, that is gross. I forgot how bad this thing is. It's bad. I mean, if nothing else, we should at least wash the grill. I understand we can't do a full service today. So according to the uh, serial number, which is Delta Kilo 865, 658-1178. This was manufactured in April of 1998, I think. Yeah, April of 1998. Probably, let's see, 117, that would be probably around the last week of April. made in Japan, mold made in America. <laughs> We're number one. Oop. Doing this while it's on is a really good idea. Yeah, especially when it's not even grounded. Oh, okay, I missed the screw over there. That's why you don't force things. Yep. Coming up pretty cold now, and the lines get nice and hot. The, the frost just went away, so I think That's it's good. good. Yeah. I just want to see it go back cold, and then we'll be done with the test. The motor's riveted shut. That's not good. Right, just throw it up. 
replace them with uh, any of the screws in here. We'll have to replace them with nothing bolt. Yeah, exactly. Actually, the condenser's not as bad looking as I was really expecting it to be. Not as bad as the whirlpool was. Well, nothing could be that bad. Looks like it already is going back cold. Yeah, the line is flooding into the compressor already. Isn't that something? Well, the heat's not coming out of the evaporator, so the cold's not going out of the evaporator. Yep, that's working properly. Despite terrible abuse and neglect. And it sounds great, and it's been running like this for who knows how many years. Well, this doesn't get like this overnight. This air is very hot coming out of here. This is like 90 degree day in the sun hot. Yeah, well these are supposed to have a lot of airflow and this is not. Yeah, fetters don't usually behave like this. This is operating like a carrier. Most things are like unbelievably hot. Fetters usually run very cool. We should probably check the terminals on the compressor too on this We should one. do that while we're here. Everything looks copacetic in the control area. Do you have wood 40? Probably. Uh, they're reasonable. Well, it's in the shade, so. Uh, it's a little on the high side, just over 12, 12.5, 12, 12, It's four, rated for 12. 12.3. 12, 12.2. 12, 11.9. Uh, it's going down because I had, it's because the van was small. What's it? 12 amps. And it's going to pull about that much because the is not working. 11.8. I'm almost uncomfortable to keep my hands on. It's, it's under like full theoretical load right now. Feel it in the motor too. Oh wow, those are pitted. I really hope they're ball bearings. I don't see why they wouldn't be. No, they have to be to spin. It wouldn't coast like that. No, and it wouldn't make that uh, that spazzing sound. I don't think if it wasn't ball. I really feel like someone tried to clean this because look, you can see the the like someone. That was us. That was us. Yeah, that was us. Oh. This coil is one of the worst I've ever seen. There's like no airflow through this at all. Mm. I don't want to just throw that on the ground. Why? It'll be grounded. <laughs> we don't accept fruit as payment here. <laughs> oh, good lord. That is gross. You can see the cigarette tar on it too. Yep. Well, that's the end of the test. We know it works. We're going to stop this now and jump to a new video of taking it apart. <laughs>